What party controls the House? The Democrats. What party controls the Senate? The Democrats. I believe we can agree that President Biden is a Democrat. I believe. Senator Schumer can raise the debt ceiling by just amending the budget resolution, can he? It's possible that that could be done. Why don't y'all do it? Because and then this we is, don't. Let me because this is. Let me just finish. Why don't y'all just do it and then we don't have this fight? Because why, this, why do you insist on, on on doing it the hard way? Because it's the Congress's I, I know, have but I just heard in the past, way, I, just, and it's a shared responsibility. Subject. So why and don't you? Democrats I agree with that. Have, so why don't you just amend the budget resolution? But let me ask you again. There's a real simple solution. Why don't y'all just amend the budget resolution? It just takes 50 votes by my Democratic friends and the vice president. Why don't you just do that? Problem solved. Done. Easy peasy. Finish. Let's go have a cocktail. Well, it, it will be up to the leadership. But it's not often around here that we have a, a, a problem that has an easy solution. And this is a real easy solution. I understand why politically you folks want to have Republican fingerprints on the, uh, the spending fiscal knife. I get that. Is your politics so important that you want to gamble here on the sovereign sure debt of the United get- States when you have a very, very simple solution that you refuse to take. A shared responsibility, and it should not be the responsibility of I agree with that, very eloquently that. put. But it's a fact, isn't it, that you just you're, you and your folks just want Republicans spend uh, uh, fingerprints on the Democrats' effort to tax, spend, and regulate America into Europe. Now, it's your prerogative to do that. But this is all about the administration's desire to have Republican fingerprints on it and later call it bipartisan. And you know that, Madam Secretary, with all the respect I can muster, and so do the American people. Madam Secretary, when you were here last, and we all look forward to you coming, I asked you to tell me what you thought inflation would be at the end of this year. And you told me 2%. Do you still stand by that prediction? Um, Clearly, inflation this year is going to be above 2%. Um, Just the experience so far this year makes that clearly true. But I think we are seeing monthly inflation rates uh, taper off. Yes, ma'am. What do you think it'll be at the end of the year, if not 2%? Um probably closer to 4%. Okay. And um, th- right. that's that's already um, almost must be the case based on what's happened this year. But um, in my estimation, um, there are the types of supply bottlenecks that okay. the economy I don't want to spend too much time on inflation. And I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have so little time and I talk slowly. Um, <laughs> What party controls the House? The Democrats. What party controls the Senate? Um, The Democrats. I believe we can agree that President Biden is a Democrat. I believe. Senator Schumer, who's a Democrat, and and my friend, controls the Senate floor. And he can raise the debt ceiling by just amending the budget resolution, can't he? It's possible that that could be done. Yes, ma'am. So why didn't he do it? Why don't y'all do it? Because and then this we is, don't. Let me because just this is. Let me just finish. Why don't y'all just do it, and then we don't have this fight? Because why, this, why do you insist on, on on doing it the hard way? Because it's very important to recognize that raising the debt ceiling is about paying bills that Congress is I, I know, have but incurred I just in the past, way, I just, and it's a shared responsibility. So why and don't you? Democrats I agree with that. Have, so why don't you just amend the budget resolution? Democrats have provided votes in the past when both houses of Congress were controlled by Republicans, when uh, the Republican Party was in the middle of reconciliation. 2017 is a good example, and Democrats uh, pitched in to do their duty to raise raise the debt ceiling. But I, I know all that, and I appreciate your perspective, but let me ask you again. There's a real simple solution. Why don't y'all just amend the budget resolution? It just takes 50 votes by my Democratic friends and the vice president. Why don't you just do that? Problem solved. Done. Easy peasy. Finish. Let's go have a cocktail. 
Well, it, it will be up to the leadership of, of oh, Congress to Are you going to recommend that you do on, that? We will confer with them on what is the best strategy to move forward. Yeah. It's not often, I, I haven't been around this place as long as you have, but it's not often around here that we have a, a, a problem that has an easy solution. And this is a real easy solution. And I get politics. I understand why politically you folks want to have Republican fingerprints on, on the, uh, the spending fiscal knife. I get that. But do you really, is it, is your politics so important that you want to gamble here on the sovereign sure debt of the United get, States when you have a very, very simple solution that you refuse to take? I want to see that the debt ceiling is raised. As I've said, I believe it would be catastrophic not to do so, but I equally believe that um, deficits have been run under both Democratic and Republican administrations, it's important to recognize that, and that means that paying the bills for those deficits is a shared, a shared responsibility, and it should not be the responsibility of any one part. I agree with that, very eloquently that. put, but it's a fact, isn't it, that you just, you're, you and your folks just want Republican spin, uh, uh, fingerprints on the Democrats' effort to tax, spend, and regulate America into Europe. Now, it's your prerogative to do that, but this is all about the administration's desire to have Republican fingerprints on it and later call it bipartisan. And you know that, Madam Secretary, with all the respect I can muster, and so do the American people. 